chart design tab up top select the data so once again i don't want the dice over here so i'm going to select the dice only and delete it i'm sorry yeah we don't want the dice <laughs> and now it, it deleted the wrong one okay sometimes it gets a little weird but let's i'm going to delete them both and add another one again and this is going to be the dice and then i'm going to say the column we want is this call uh hold on a sec i don't want the dice i'm gonna say <laughs> we want the actual rows and then delete this and say we want this that's what we want here okay and then on this side i want to make sure that it picks up my actual numbers so it looks like it's got one to six here but i want to go here and then pick up these numbers so that's the x and this is the y actual rules clicked off okay so there we have it so i'm going to delete the this thing down here and then we have the actual rules and uh we could also say if i hit the little plus button say we want data labels we can add the data labels like we did before and we can compare this uh to to what we had in our you know perfect world summary over here so there we have that now you could also make a histogram from the data from the actual dicey rules that we that we ruled so i could select my data putting my cursor in o2 holding down uh control shift down arrow and then holding down control backspace going back to the top insert another histogram and this time a histogram not a bar chart and then i can pull this down now the histogram is going to give us our buckets which isn't exactly what we want here because we would like it to number you know one to six but i can kind of adjust those buckets i can go into these buckets down here and say that i want the buckets i just want six buckets and then it'll it'll give me something similar right and then i can say okay let's go up top and say that we want this to be our data labels and you can see that we get you know the same data points as we did up top i'm going to delete the chart title actual rules and so there we so there we have that now we could obviously we have something different than than what then you know what we expect like in a perfect world right because we're taking an approximation taking a sample in essence from the population which would be the infinite number of rules so we could also then say well what if we did this multiple times so we can make multiple histograms to see that we'll get a different result each time with this random number generator and if we just played with our random number generator i could say make four of these generators right and then uh uh and and then just copy and paste them four times so for example here's my number generator if i want to simulate us rolling a thousand rules four times I can just copy this entire let's copy this entire column right click and copy and then i'll just bring this over here and say that we did this four times so i'll say right click paste one two three 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 so now we've got four hard-coded rules again this is rules number one rules number two rules number three rolls number four so that would be quite long a lot of rolling to do if we were in the good old educational department statistical studies back in the day where we where we had, we had that cushy job of just rolling the die a thousand times four times over uh but they have uh they've eliminated that job now because we can do it this way and the unions tried to stop it uh you know they was like they're like dude what are you doing we need to like this is an important job but then but somehow they couldn't hold out so so then we could we can make histograms of the four here and check those out so if i go from here holding control shift down let's do a quick couple histograms and we'll say uh and so notice each one of those even though i copied the same ones are giving me different results right even though i 
pasted them from the same thing, right? So if I go over here and make and say I go, let's oh hold on a sec. Control shift down, control backspace, and let's just enter four histograms. Insert charts, histogram, his toe gram. He made a gram of his toe and called it a his toe gram. Called it his toe gram. This is his toe gram. All right. What are you talking about? Let's make this, uh, let's go down here and then say number, we want six of these. And so I'm going to say tab. Okay. And so there's that one. Let's put some, some chart titles or data labels on it. Get rid of the chart title. I'm just going to say roll, well, rolls. Uh, one and then we'll just check out what happens on rolls two. putting my cursor here control shift down control backspace scrolling down a little bit because I want it underneath insert chart histogram and then we'll put that down here and I'm gonna say well let's do the data labels and then go down here here access we want how many bends we want six bends boom close that up and then i'll put my chart data labels on that one and this was this is rolls too man there's a lot of rules this is getting seriously dicey this is dicey business tell you what you thought catching fish on the boat the salmon catcher people had dicey jobs they have nothing then i'm gonna put my cursor on ad2 control shift down and then control backspace and then i'm gonna scroll down a bit i want this here insert and charts group another histogram and this is for the the next one i'm gonna put my cursor down here and let's say that we want uh how many bins do we want let's say six bends close it up add some chart labels and this is dice roll am i spelling rolls right i don't <laughs> i don't know i don't think that's how you spell rolls i think you need two l's on the roll that's like a roll like a like a cinnamon roll oh man People are going to think I'm talking about cooking this whole time. Is that... Uh, I started over. I'm not doing it over just because it's... People know what I'm talking about. People know what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's do one more. And we're going to put our cursor on this one. And control shift down. Uh, control backspace. Scrolling down. Uno vase moss. One more time. Insert charts his toe gram and we're gonna say buckets are gonna be number six tab closing plus button data groups this is rolls four not cinnamon rolls not like baking terms these are dice man these are dice we're in the the gambling house rolling dice all right so you can see the point is that they're different they're different because it's a sample uh but what we would be doing is comparing that then to the to what we would expect in a uniform uh type of distribution and uh uh and that would that would be how we can usually will be generating or approaching certain questions now obviously the uniform distribution the fact that it can be uh, simulated with a line uh, and a formula is quite useful because that gives us the predictive power right so even though it's not going to give us a certain prediction in a sample situation uh, the, the fact that we have a, a general concept that we can approximate like we can approximate the examples here with a line right and so that's what we would and so if we can and if we can do that then obviously that helps us for predictive power in the future now when we get into other kind of families of distributions that's kind of what we're looking for we're looking for the formulas will get more complex 
to simulate a line <laughs> uh, through it or a curve. But if we can get a curve that can be approximated with a with some kind of formula, then that would be great because that gives us that's what gives us uh, predictive power to then use that formula.